Hold still. Anywhere. Your passport to endless photo possibilities begins with Vanguard's Vue to Go travel tripods. One of the Vue collection's many solutions designed with the travel photographer in mind. Store. Set up. Shoot. And repeat with a support more compact than your laptop. Choose the setup that's right for you between eight unique kit options. Constructed from carbon or aluminum, in size between 20, 23, or 26 millimeter diameter leg options. Store this travel buddy in luggage, or even in the side of a backpack, by folding the legs up inversely. The resulting ultra-compact profiles range from 12.75 inches on the smallest models to 16.4 inches on the largest. And you can save your back knowing they are extremely lightweight. The lightest coming in at 2.29 pounds, and the heaviest in at 3.3 pounds. Despite view to gos small footprint, you can set up easily and reliably to meet the most demanding photo needs. The legs fold to position at 20, 45, and 80 degrees, allowing the tripod to get as low as 8 inches for low angle photography. It can extend to reach a maximum height of 64 inches, achieved using the 5 section rubber twist leg locks and the telescoping center column. Confidently move your setup from spot to spot using the dedicated non-slip, all-weather TPU gripped leg. And you can rest assured your shots will be steady on any terrain with the interchangeable rubber feet and included spiked feet. Plus, the center column features a built-in hook to hold the sandbag for even more security. And no matter sand or snow, the leg locks have a new open-click feature, allowing for easy cleaning and reassembly. Shooting is made easy with the T45 ball head, featuring large ergonomic knobs for quick adjustments and the universal ARCA compatible plate for quick camera swapping, supporting up to 6.6 .6 pound payloads. The head is also secured with a quarter 20 to 3 8 inch interchangeable screw, and also a set screw located in the removable base plate. Need even more compact solutions? Viewed to go is ready when you are, with tripod to monopod hybrid models in both aluminum and carbon. Simply remove the head and the designated tripod leg. What drives us to step out of the ordinary and expose ourselves to wonder, to walk a track for the very first time, to be free of routine and give ourselves room to breathe again, to imagine again. We capture and share our moments so we can inspire others to escape the ordinary and have the same great experiences that drive us into the wild. This is the goal of the new Manfrotto Be Free Live video tripod. To carry less and imagine more. And this is the main tripod I've been using for the past year, the Siruit Traveler 5C. For the most part, I've been using lightweight cameras with this tripod. For about 8 to 10 months, I was using the Fujifilm X-T4 with the Fujinon 16 to 55. At the moment, I'm using my Sony a7 IV, Sony ZV-E10 with some lightweight prime lenses. And sometimes I would also add my field monitor with a battery. So roughly, we're talking about 2 to 2.5 kilograms maximum. And from my experience, this tripod never really had an issue holding this amount of gear. It is very stable and secure as long as your setup is lightweight as mine. This is my only tripod. I'm using it a lot. I'm using it pretty much every single day to film b-roll to film some other things i also use it outside sometimes i think this tripod is pretty much perfect for me it's super light it's pretty stable so for me for the price it's pretty much perfect i'm gonna keep using it hi i'm gonna unbox this camera tripod and show you how easy it is to set up and use comes with this nice compact pouch this is the whole tripod right here. I like that it has these bubbles to let you know if you're leveled or not. And this is all metal or steel, so it's not plastic. So it's very sturdy. You can see this ball head up here that lets you uh, pivot your uh, video recording or picture recording very smoothly. And you can of course lock it in place with um, these two knobs right here. So you have maximum control. I like that this uh, plate right here, so you can attach this to your camera 
for a quick and easy release. And you can see there's another bubble right there to let you know um, if it's leveled or not. And this is also metal as well. And you can see there's a fold out thumb screw right here for you to easily turn that without having to get like a screwdriver or a coin. And this handle right here is padded. And the legs right here have these quick release tabs right here that you just open and you can pull it right out. Coming to the bottom, if there is a hook right here for you to put a sandbag or, or something heavy to anchor this so that it does not tip over or anything. So these knobs right here, this one right here controls the tilting up and down. So if you loosen it up, you can go up and down or you can control the friction to see how smooth and what the resistance would be for you to do that motion. You can lock it into place. And the one right here, the small one in front, if you loosen that, you can pan left and right. And again, you can lock it in place. And now this lock right here, you can loosen this and you can uh, raise the whole camera. You can see it holds the camera pretty sturdy. Uh, no issues at all. Just make sure you tighten the ball heads. The feet are rubberized and it has little things that stick out to give it an extra grip. Uh, check this out if you're looking for a quality, low cost tripod. And this will surely enhance any video taking or picture taking that you're going to be doing. I also want to call out there are tabs right here. So if you open these, you can extend these out even more. So if you want, like a, want this to uh, sit on the floor completely flat, you can do that as well. Here we have this nice tripod for a camera. And when I say nice, trust me, I mean very nice. One aspect about this, as you might notice, is how tall it is. And one way you can change that is from these little clips down here. If you open these clips, it allows you to slide this back and it allows you to get any angle you want. So if we do this, we can get a more of a upwards angle so we can get something high up and just click it. But we can also raise it again and it's easy, it's just a click and lock. If you come look right here, I just pull this out. And if you look, just click and lock. Also on the bottom of the feet right here, since we're talking about being tall and being stable, it has these little adjuster things. And these will adjust to any of the surface ground you have. So if I put it here, it immediately bends. And these adjustable clips go all the way up. So it can be this short, this short, this tall, this tall, or it could be all the way up here. Another way to make it taller is in the back. If you twist this lever, you can simply pick this up by using this little um, spinny thing. And it immediately raises the camera. Look at it. Immediately raises the camera. You turn it back to the level you need it. Tighten it. And now look how much taller it is. Being tall like this will be good for recording sports, taking pictures of animal wildlife, anything good like a family photo. You can just like and have a bunch of people. Um, and to let it loose, you just go like this. And then you just slowly turn this lever down right here. And then the camera comes all the way back down. Like how cool is that, right? And then you tighten it again. And look, completely stable, not going anywhere. Another cool feature about this is that if you need to record something on the ground, all you have to do is go like, all you need to do to point it down is to come over here, turn this loose lever, and then it will immediately open this up, which allows you to point it down. So if you have wildlife here, if you have wildlife there, and you're trying to get a nice angle on it, you go like this and you just click, click your picture, it's done, you want to be finished. You just put this back, come right here, tighten this again, and now this will not flip back up on you and won't like surprise you as you're walking. This lever right here and this handle is really nice because it allows you to do a full 360 rotation with the camera, which will be really good if you need to do a video. It also allows you to do angles like this. It allows you to do angles like this. Um, it allows you to do a bunch of spinning stuff and you can tighten and loosen it with this knob in the back right here. And another great thing about the stabilization is this hook. And what this hook does is it has many purposes. It can be for a weight, so that it's nice and sturdy. It can be for a camera bag, in case you have your camera bag, like this one, which just comes in. You can just hang this right here, and it's out of your way. The animals aren't going to smell it. Um, and you can use it for a lot of other things, like 
hang your keys or anything else on it that you want out of your way. Um, another great thing is it has this level. And this shows you how stable it is. So like right now it's not that stable. But if we line up the dot right in the center of the line, look at that. How stable is that? All in all, this is a very good product. I would definitely recommend buying this. Another great feature in the back right here is this free switch. So to do this, you just simply click and the camera is out. And look how easy that is. Put it back in. Open this. Put that right back in. Close it. Boom, camera's back in. It also comes with this user manual, which tells you everything you need to know. Um, definitely a great product. I would 100% recommend buying this tripod. Another great feature about this tripod is that it comes with a phone stand in the bag as well. And to adjust it, you just spin this knob and this comes off. And because most of these, it's a spring, so it just pulls and lets go and your phone will drop out randomly. Or it may like mess up while taking pictures. But this one is a specific knob. So you have to turn this to the left in order to get it loose. It comes with this little button right here. You turn it on, connect it to the Bluetooth. It has an iPhone, an Android camera. You stand back like this whenever you're ready. You click the button and it takes a picture. This will be great for indoors or for family photos when you don't have your camera. This tripod has many uses. It can be used for games, like for filming games, for filming sports, for filming, um, I don't know, animals, family photos, anything you can think of. I would definitely recommend buying this tripod for all of your camera and photography needs. We hope you like our video. Subscribe to our channel for more new videos and the latest information. Please write your opinion in the comment section.